Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video for this week. This is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. This week we have taken a topic which is very very popular, which is one of the highly popular career in India, especially for a commerce student or if you are planning to take commerce in your 11th and 12th this is one of the most important topic I should say. Yes, the topic for this week is Chartered Accountant as a Career or rather CA as a Career. Now straight away let us get on to what is this all about. CA or rather Chartered Accountant is considered to be one of the core in all the business. I mean any business that you take be it small or be it big or medium sized business. A chartered accountant will play or rather this department of finance and chartered accountants will play the core role. If, you, if any organization has a core team right at the top, a chartered accountant will be a part of that core team. Now irrespective of the size of the business, irrespective of the industry that the company has, chartered accountants will be there everywhere in the core of the business. Now behind every successful business there will be a team of chartered accountants usually they work as teams even though it's headed by a CFO they definitely will have team of chartered accountants right from juniors to mid level to seniors who are actually trained in the area of minimizing losses for a company and maximizing the profits in a legal and ethical way. So that's exactly what a chartered accountant is supposed to do from the books perspective. Now who governs this profession it is governed by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India which is fondly called as ICAI. Now ICAI is a body or an institute that governs the practice of chartered accountants right from conducting of CA exams till awarding the CA prestigious CA certificate and then taking care of any ethical or unethical practices that comes in. So everything is governed by ICAI. Now over the past few years uh, with the advent of changing business environment, even ICAI has changed the syllabus, tweaked the syllabus little bit in accordance with the ever changing business paradigm, right? So that's exactly what CA Institute does. And now we will now see how someone can become a chartered accountant or rather eligibility to become a chartered accountant, the route, the career route to become a CA. The first route or the popular route is after 12 standards. Ideally, a student should choose commerce group because it is more or less related to commerce and accountancy so it is preferred that someone takes commerce group in 11th and 12th uh, at times even science students do get into CS because of the numerical ability that they possess even arts and science students also can technically they are eligible to take the exams but the preference definitely is for commerce and uh, accountancy group students so once you complete your 12th there is something called CA foundation, the, uh, the foundation exams that comes into picture. The student can register himself or herself even after 10 standard to study that foundation program. But the student is eligible to take the exams only after completion of grade 12 or higher secondary examinations. So once a student completes this or her higher secondary examination, 12 standard examination, a student is eligible to take this foundation course. Now this foundation course usually happens in the month of May and November. Twice a year it happens. So assuming that you finish your schooling this, this year in 2021, you finish all your exams by May mid or something like that. Watch out for CA institutes. The forms must have been given. You can always apply for November and then prepare for that exams and then take the foundation CA foundation paper. This foundation module consists of four papers ranging from uh, principles and practices of accounting and then you will have a paper on mathematics, obviously you will have a paper on law and then you will have a paper on economics. So all these four papers, a student is supposed to take 40% or in, uh, that's the pass mark for clearing the foundation and the aggregate should be 50. Once a student clears his foundation paper or foundation subject, a student can enroll himself or herself into the next level which is fondly called as inter, now CA inter. So once a student enrolls and pursues and studies CA inter, he or she can take the inter program which is divided into two parts usually. So once a student completes the inter, a student usually joins a articleship, I mean under a practicing auditor. So a student has to do articleship under a practicing auditor for three years. 
now after completion of inter three years of articleship now once a student finishes two and a half years which is the last six months during his or her articleship tenure he or she can take the final exams so once a student after finishing inter and then articleship and then completes his or her final exams a student is technically eligible to become a chartered accountant the institute of ca icai awards himself or herself a professional chartered accountant certificate and then he can he or she can start practicing chartered accountancy so this is the career route as to how one can become a chartered accountant now moving on what are the professional opportunities that exists for a chartered accountant there are numerous professional opportunities we will see one by one the first professional opportunity definitely is uh, in the form of public or private practice usually auditors do pr public practice and private practice it could be in small companies it could be in mid sized company it could be in large multinational companies auditing firms for example uh, price water coopers or uh, you know quite a lot of uh, auditing firms which you can be a part of and then work with your clients become a partner and then work on numerous things like uh, providing accounting services taxation solutions like deloitte and things like that so you can become a public or private practitioner that's the first professional career opportunity the second career opportunity professional career opportunity that we can think of is in within the government sector now chartered accountants play a very very important role in government sector now what do they do in government now they ensure all the government bodies function transparently the funds that has been passed to the government to undertake various projects those funds are regularized i mean used in a right way ethical way of using funds is something that comes under the perusal of a chartered accountant who works in government now usually government chartered accountants also investigate white collar criminal offenses like for example wage theft or bribery that happens it's the chartered accountants who does you know probe into all these things so that's the role of cas in government organization the next professional career opportunity that we can think of is within the corporate now within the corporate a chartered accountant grows like anything grows up to the level of ceo cfo you know at times uh, finance directors and also you know fund managers now, this is how a ca grow within the corporate and fourth professional career opportunity that i can think of is in the form of corporate finance now corporate finance usually large companies will have a domain called corporate finance which usually is headed by a chartered accountant what do they do uh, they look after the uh, financing the entire corporate that's something which they do they take care of uh, mergers and acquisition uh, they also take care of capital restructuring risk management risk assessment etc so this is where cas play a very important role in uh, corporate finance domain so these are some of the professional career opportunities that i can think of some of the famous chartered accountants you know that we should definitely see uh, kumara mangalam birla this is the chairman of aditya birla group he is a chartered accountant uh, and then you have mr piyush goel who is the current railways minister he is a chartered accountant and then you can take some examples like uh, niranjan hiranandani who is a real estate tycoon now he is a chartered accountant mr gurumurthy a famous journalist that we all know from this part of the country he is a chartered accountant and uh, yeah you can take shekhar kapoor who is a very prominent international director from india he is a chartered accountant and you can also take some offbeat examples like yakub memon who is the brother of uh, tiger memon who was involved in the famous serial bomb blast in bombay yakub memon happens to be a chartered accountant so these are some of the prominent names you know that you can see in chartered accountant professional as always in our series the pros and cons of being a ca pros definitely you know huge remuneration good remuneration definitely because uh, you know this is a very professional field and uh, it's a lifeline of any business therefore usually chartered accountants get paid really well they get some great uh, social status in the society high esteem in the society and always this profession is always in high demand courtesy the institute i mean it takes care of the supply demand ratio therefore it's always in good demand these are some of the pros that i can think of yeah definitely there are some you know uh, pitfalls in this profession as like all other professionals definitely requires hard work to to pass this exam to to become a chartered accountant it's not easy and that's why you see the program is always in great demand therefore it requires hell a lot of hard work a uh, long working hours i mean there is no time limit when it comes to chartered accountant especially you know if you are going to work in the quarter end or month end or year end it's going to be nightmare you got to work throughout and i mean that's how chartered accountants thrive they they love these things and therefore that's something which you have to look at and finally 
yes definitely it is quite stressful also but if you look at overall you know package ca i will give a huge thumbs up to ca as a professional career because it is a time tested career and if you are very serious about pursuing a career in finance and accounts ca is the numero you know career option and in case you have any doubts on whether you can become a ca you know whether you have the traits to become a ca do contact us we will be in a position to help you and analyze you and tell you whether you are good enough to be in this position right so with this i would like to conclude this video and thank you so much uh, thanks everybody for watching the videos all along and in case you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe to www.youtube.com slash right careers and until next monday with another set of video another interesting topic see you all have a great week take care Thank you.